Little wins, right? Yep. Like, I did, and there's Tom. In your play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hey, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions. And this is John back here. And we got our new t-shirts on here. What do you think? Yeah, John made them. He got some of those transfers and made us some t-shirts. So uh, what we want to talk about today is Mavic accessories. I've got some balls here you can add to your Mavic. But it's not just two balls, of course. You've got to have four balls, otherwise the thing just wouldn't float, right? <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of accessories here that we want to talk about, including the balls. Uh, these are actually floats right here. So let me get the floats out of the package, put them right here. So there's a couple rear balls, and there is the two front balls right there. And these come from... I'm going to try to get this right because it's a little bit difficult to read. Uh, right there. The Kukka Inanagaga. I guess it's supposed to be uh, the king with some extra letters in there. That's where I got it from. There's the address. And it, let's see, it also came with this sheet here. So there's a QR code you can scan to go to their website and look at the video on how to install the floats. They actually say they're uh, down here, it says something about quick plug, snow quick, quick plug Snow Mod Mavic. Uh, you know, so I don't know, did they only work for snow? I thought they were supposed to work in the water too. So maybe we'll have to fill the bathtub up and try it, I don't know. So reading these instructions was kind of interesting. These are supposed to be from Canada, I think. There's the maple leaf, eh? So I was reading the instructions and I thought, well, from Canada they ought to be pretty clear. Shouldn't be any problem. Okay, thanks you for purchase for installation. Just insert all adapter ball on the Mavic Pro leg. Be careful not to push the rod which is inserted into the ball fragile rod. What? Oh, John reminded me it says cureful. Be cureful. So it wouldn't be a Mavic video without a Mavic. So yeah, see I actually have one right here. Of course you knew I did, right? And uh, these balls, I, we were looking at them and they're actually a 3D printed material and uh, looks like it's flexible 3d printing material and we actually have some of this somewhere around here we bought a roll of this uh, flexible stuff didn't have much luck printing with it but uh, yeah it actually flexes so that when you put your socket onto the leg it should slide right on there I say should it's got to go on the leg right other way around like this yeah there see like that. Okay. Yeah, and it flexes so it grabs pretty good. Like that. And then the ones for the rear. Let's see if we can do the rear ones. They see. All right, so the rear one goes on like that, but you got to make sure this slot is in the right orientation for this thing on the bottom. Okay. I'm showing you just, I've never tried these before. I assure you. All right, it went on there. So there it is. I may not have the front one on all the way, but you know, that's basically how it goes there. And I'd, I'd have to put the other two on, but yeah, it just sits. Wow, you know, that really makes it a lot taller, as you can see. Must be a good eight inches under that thing now. So I wonder if it actually floats. See what happens. And there it is. You can see it's floating. Got a couple inches of water in there. It looks like the water is coming up about halfway on the balls. So, yeah, looks like it works good. It's just drifting around in there. Mm. Yep. So now I can take the Mavic in the bathtub with me. <laughs> I might want to take a bath more often. So when I was taking one of them off, the uh, plug 
popped out and this is like a soft rubber plug and that's just stuck through there 3 3d printed material now this material here is hard it's not soft like uh, it was on the other floats on the front floats and then this rubber plug just goes into that hole like that and there you go goes back together so I guess you could take it apart to clean it or empty the water out I don't know so that's that okay let's look at some of these other items now now this is an item here I'd like to share with you John actually 3d printed this and it's the STL files available on the internet he used PLA for this instead of ABS and uh, as you can see it protects your gimbals so when you put your unit into your bag or whatever you're putting it into it protects the gimbals and the buttons right right there like that next let's cover these free will landing gear right here this is another way you can go uh, instead of floats you can use these landing gear that are less obtrusive or whatever they're just small and they clip onto the quad I think I saw these on uh, RC Shim he was reviewing them there's also some others that uh, come as a set of four that go on the gear similar to those floats clipping onto the rear uh, arms but these just go onto the front arms as you can see just slide right on and then this clips on the back now I haven't tried this at all and I, I can see how the front ones go on I just wonder how this rear one goes on where are you okay so the Mavic was down on the floor playing I got it back now let's see now how does this go on John without reading the directions so we don't want to cover that camera or that sonar element so I guess it just goes on like that so there it is right there this clipped right on to the feet that are present right here and you saw I could take it right off very easily okay here we go yep back on there so that's pretty good and then you just put these on the front Let's see you get it the right way there we go yeah those go on really easy like I say I haven't tried any of this stuff so this is all new you're seeing me seeing it for the first time and then you get some rubber feet here that you can put on the bottom of them there I got it on and let's see how it sits yeah you can see that's quite a bit higher quite a bit higher if you look underneath there there's a lot of room there now so that might be good if you're landing in grass and you don't want to get the props in the grass at all that'd be real handy and then uh, we'll stick on these rubber feet too in a little bit but uh, I won't bore you with those details okay there we go so I've got the rubber feet on right here there were some for each of the front legs and then a couple small pieces to go on the rear legs so I've got it done and that's all there is to that looks nice looks nice now that it's in focus okay another item I got here is uh, this right here and I may have shown this before in some of my other videos but this actually takes the place of the little plastic cover on the front over the gimbal and acts as a sunshade I've been using this quite a bit and it works pretty good you can order these online we 3d printed this one but they have them available online where you can order them already made not 3d printed but more molded but uh, I've shown this before and uh, anyone that owns a Mavic will know that this looks just like the front cover which is clear with a hole cut out right here so that's about what it is now these other items here all came from DJI and uh, yeah, you can see that from looking at these that they're all made in China just like most things nowadays uh, first thing is a set of blades I won't bore you with that because you know what the blades look like but you can get extra blades next one and I got this with the Flymore package 
this particular thing. It's a battery to power bank adapter. But I think you can get this separately too. And what that does is it actually plugs onto your Mavic battery and then you can charge your phone with it or your controller off this if you're at the field. So you can use a Mavic battery. Why you would do that I'm not sure but you might be in an emergency. Your phone is going dead and you want to get in another flight. You might use one of your batteries just to get your phone going. So there's that. You can find that on the DJI website. And I also got this from DJI just to see what it was like. And it's a remote controller monitor hood right there. I had no idea what this actually did. I was puzzled. So I went ahead and just ordered it. It wasn't that much money. I knew it had to be some sort of sunshade, but I didn't realize how it went on. So let's find out. I haven't even had it out of the box yet. So it looks like you just do this. And you got a little hood there. Okay, so, oh yeah, the antennas must go up in there. All right, let's get the controller over here. And we'll raise the antennas. And then put this on there. And as you can see, it gets kind of dark underneath there. So I guess it's working. Now, I may not have it all the way down. I don't know. There's a little tab there. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. All right. And then, let's turn it on. Double tap. All right. So you can see how that's shading it does a pretty good job but I don't think it's gonna shade the uh, the phone very well or your tablet because that would be down in there and I don't see if I put the light you can see lights hitting right here but it does shade the controller pretty well so I don't know if you could use this in conjunction with another hood or what but not sure but there it is so that that was something I'd wondered about didn't know how it worked. Now I know. Shut that off. Okay. Now I also went ahead and made my own. And that brings up another subject. And that's the tablet. Okay, so here's my tablet. I decided to get a Nexus 7 2013 model. I am not an Apple user. Otherwise I probably would have got an iPad mini. But what I wanted to show you was this screen, or this uh, sunscreen right here that I made. And I know this is a homemade accessory, but there's some Velcro straps that I just glued onto it. And then I can just strap it on the bottom. And then I have a tab that slides down into the groove right there in, in front of the Nexus 7. But it doesn't stick down through the bottom far enough to cover up the USB port. And it doesn't cover up the USB port here, so I can still run my cable to my controller. One of the things I found out is when I'm connecting the tablet, I need to plug it into the controller last. In fact, connect the controller to the Mavic, have everything running, and plug the tablet in last. And then the, the DJI GO 4 app comes up and everything just works great. So this works really good, but now John has come up with a new design that he might 3D print, and it looks like this. It's actually upside down right now. It goes this way. So these clips go onto the 7-inch tablet, and this tab goes down in where that other tab went. And so far, he has just printed the first part of it, the very bottom part here, and here's what it looks like. We've ordered some black filament. It should be coming in tomorrow, and then we'll complete it. But that's what it looks like right there. So it's basically the same shape as the other one, and has these clips that go over the corners of the tablet, and then the tab right here. But these walls will be a lot higher in the finished version. And so we'll probably put those files up on uh, Thingiverse or somewhere where people can download it. If they've got a Nexus 7 or some other 7-inch tablet, this might work. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's a couple of little pegs here with grooves in them. 
that you can stretch a rubber band across there underneath the tablet to hold these or clamp these things against the tablet and uh, that was another feature that John added so there it is we'll be working on that and finally I got these ND filters also from DJI and uh, I've never seen these before just got them in I don't even know what ND means I've I've you know John thinks it means night day and uh, I think it means what was it I was thinking um, this shows the different languages looks like there's only two pages in English and I don't see anything on there that says what ND means oh I remember now it was neutral density was that what you were thinking neutral density I've heard something like that before still don't know what it all means so there's the three filters see if I can get one out yeah there's one right there boy are they small of course they have to be small to go on the Mavic and then it just looks like it has three clips that clip over the camera so it doesn't screw on it just clips on so I'll have to do some experimentation and maybe some research to find out what the three different filters are used for you know what lighting conditions but I'm glad I got them and they're available on the DJI website as well actually the accessories were held up for a while I I got my Mavic right away you know like in two weeks I think it was two weeks that I got my Mavic and I'd ordered the accessories at the same time and they didn't come for I don't know how long until now I mean it's been what six weeks or something I finally got them so accessories are a little bit hard to find the batteries are hard to get and filters and some other things but uh, I think DJI is catching up and they'll they will uh, eventually get everything out oh and I've heard they have a new quad out now that uh, was a big secret now it's out on the market and I thought I saw something on the news that showed wasn't it sort of a big industrial quad John okay here it is right here DJI unleashes its first workhorse drone for industrial missions and the date there looks like 22617 okay it's called the M200 so there it is read all about it I saw it on wired.com also another accessory you might note is the SanDisk cards now are coming in bigger sizes and I've heard that the uh, Mavic can take up to a 256 card. I don't know if it's recommended, but it can take it. Here's a 200 gig that was on sale. But anyway, you might consider a larger card for one of your accessories for shooting 4K video. Anyway, that's all I got. And uh, we'll see you on the tube. Leave any comments you want under the video. Like, subscribe. And if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. That's always good for ratings, like I say. See you all. Here, bye.